today I have these set of letters that I picked up from Walmart and I'm giving them each two coats of Snow Owl by Wise Owl. I'm using my Klingon brush and just making sure I get around all the edges, but I'm not really concerned about the back as we're not going to be seeing that. You're gonna take a 37 by 12 inch board and put a piece of tape 10 inches down. And now I am using a foam roller four inches and applying two coats of the Wise Owl Snow Owl. Once dry, I'm taking one and three quarter inch blue tape and I'm creating stripes. The size of tape really does not matter. This is what I had on hand. Again, with the four inch foam roller, I'm taking Wise Owl Republic Red. And because I put the white down first, this did take about three coats uh, to fully cover. And just gently you wanna remove the tape you laid down. And then you're going to take the tape at the top down as well. I turned my board around so you can see. Now this was all completely dry before I laid tape on the uh, the stripes and now I am applying Bowie from Wise Owl, this time using a Klingon brush. You definitely wanna do two coats. And when done, I took these stars stencils that I had, I've used these before Personally, I would not probably get the same brand, but if you Google um, American stars, you could, you'll see all kinds of different uh, sets of stars. But anyway, I used what I had. And I applied three lines of these particular stars and I'm using a foam dabber and the key to stenciling is very minimal paint. Make sure you're using a dabbing motion as you don't wanna brush the paint under the stencil. I found this American wood plaque at Walmart it's kind of rough cut, but I decided to paint it white to match my project. And I did leave some of the wood peeking through. And now I am adding Wise Owl Varnish Matte. I'm using a foam gen brush. It's an inexpensive option. You can usually get them at uh, True Value hardware stores. And now I am taking some um, black paint and a chip brush, and I'm just putting some um, antiquing along the edges. Once this is done, I'm going back with the Wise Owl matte varnish and a Klingon brush and I am applying it to my American plaque and each of the letters. And here I am using uh, the same Gen foam brush. At this point, I'm gonna take General Finishes Gel Stain because my varnish is now dry and apply the stain all over the board 
You do need some sort of a barrier between the paint and the stain or it will not rub back up like I am doing right now. I'm taking a rag and rubbing the stain back up to give it an antiqued look. I'm now taking some E6000, making a plan with all my letters and my America plaque. Now this came with a heart and you are gonna glue it wherever you live, so I glued mine over by New York. And once I removed the back hanger from the America, and with the E6000 and hot glue, I'm gonna be applying my letters. The E6000 is what you need. The hot glue just holds it in place while that dries because it does take 24 hours. These items are heavy, so I don't want them sliding. Be sure you add plenty of the E6000, especially to um, the USA state plaque because it's quite heavy. Use tape or whatever to help mark where your letters go because once you lift it up and put the glue on, it is hard to uh, put it back down in the same spot. I did use pieces of tape to help me guide the um, letter back where I had it. That was probably the most challenging part. Guys, all these paint products, uh, the Snow Owl, the Republic Red and the Bowie can be found at chalkitupfancy.com. You can also find transfers. And if you'd like to see other tutorials, you can go check us out on YouTube. And you can also watch our tutorials on our webpage. Thank you so much for watching.